My name is Dr. Caitlin Hoffman. When your baby is diagnosed with craniosynostosis, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. Try not to worry. Surgery to correct craniosynostosis is safe and effective in the hands of an experienced surgical team. Traditional surgery is called cranial vault reconstruction, and today there is a new minimally invasive option called endoscopic suturectomy. This option is available to children diagnosed approximately prior to four months of age and who have only one closed suture. This is because younger babies have softer skulls that move into place over time by taking advantage of rapid brain growth. Just like the traditional option, this procedure takes place under general anesthesia in the operating room with a full OR staff experienced in craniosynostosis surgery. The child is positioned either on their belly or their back, and a small incision is made over the affected suture. Unlike the large incision needed for the traditional procedure, which extends from one ear to the other, the incision for the endoscopic surgery is only about two to three centimeters in length and is hidden in the child's hair. The surgeon then uses the endoscope and a specialized tool called a rongeur to remove the bone of the fused suture. The amount of bone removed is much less than is removed in a traditional cranial vault reconstruction. The incision is closed with dissolvable sutures. The child is awakened from anesthesia and transported to the recovery room. The whole procedure takes approximately one to two hours. Children are typically discharged after one night of hospitalization. Children wear a custom orthotic helmet to help guide the head shape during the extremely rapid brain growth of early infancy. Children wear the helmet until approximately one year of age. The minimally invasive endoscopic surgical option includes many advantages, such as shorter surgical time, including less time under anesthesia, a smaller incision, reduced risk of infection, reduced need for blood transfusion, and a shorter hospital stay. We know how important it is for you to make the decision that's best for your child, and we are here to help. Please let us know of any questions and visit wildcornellbrainandspine.org slash craniofacial for more information.